All right. You'll understand. All right. So at the end of the day, you can't take your salvation for what? For Job. All right. Because he told you that what? It's very important for you to keep the, the commandments, right? And if you don't keep the commandments, then what? What's going to happen to you? What's going to happen to you if you don't keep the commandments? You fail God. What? You fail God and the last day when God found So at the end of the day, what's going to happen to you? Fire. Yeah, you're going to go on the fire. He's going to go on the lake of fire. What about you, man? What about you, man? Because, you know, it is never too old for us to learn. Because we have a lot of our people, a lot of our older people, they have failed us. No, they don't speak. All right. All right. So a lot of our older people, they have failed us. All right. Because if you take, if you see what's happening in our communities, you can see that's a result of our, our elders not giving us and teaching us the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right. Because if our elders did teach us the law, statutes, and commandments, you would not have black on black crime. You wouldn't have um, teenage pregnancy. You wouldn't have baby mamas, baby daddies. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't have brothers in the community selling drugs to each other if they to teach us the law. The laws and the commandments are very important. This is our this Bible is the Israelite um, constitution. All right, this is what this is what governs some people. This is what governs a nation, actually. All right, because if you look at it, all nations on the face of this earth, where does how do they establish their laws? Start their laws in their country. They get prime examples examples out of this Bible. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery, and well, and goes on. That's where they get these from from out of the Bible. It's a question. What's that? By grace. Yeah. By grace. Now you back on grace again. Now we, I, I've seen you here but twice. What does grace mean? I, I hope you learned something the last time you was here. If the officer he dealt with you, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you understand what is grace. Sister, you know what is grace, right? They just went through that with you. Now, you supposed to be a pastor, all right? You supposed to be um, over, over looking over the, the flock, right? Now, you tell me. I'm going to tell you out of the Bible, but let me see if you want point. What is grace? What is grace? Tell me. I'm waiting. You on? Give me a scripture now. Yes, Jesus Christ, God the Lord to the Moses. Yeah, I understand that. Yes, it's grace was not concrete. Say what? Grace was not concrete. Listen. And that's the reason why we just send Jesus Christ software. To so far, so God died to our time, to our nation. That's the reason why we call that uh, salvation. Salvation that in grace. We, we must be sent to the one the time, but forget you. Sin, for your sin. I know. You grace, I... mercy, Lord, blessing, power, authority to everyone. You still didn't tell me what is grace. Yeah, yeah, grace, grace, you know. What is grace? God forgive us your sin. All right, let's get out of the Bible, because I mean, you still... All right, please give me um, give me um, First Peter um, four and eleven. Give me First Peter four and eleven. All right, because like I said, you you are a pastor of our church. What kind? What's what's the name of your church? I am prophecy. You're a pro you what? Church of prophecy. Church of prophecy. Church of our right, church of God of prophecy. Listen to this, bro. If if you read not of this Bible, if you had the understanding, you would understand this. All right, because anytime we have a conversation out of this Bible. You're supposed to apply this, okay? Read. This is the book of First Peter. Oh, Chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak. So right now, use a man, right? And if any man or if any woman speak, we have a conversation according to this constitution, our Bible. If you want to have something to say concerning this Bible, what must he do? Let him speak as the oracles of God. You must speak concerning the things what God has said in this Bible. Because guess what? This Bible is God's word. All right? Because if you say anything against God's words, that means what? That means you're telling a lie, bro. That means it's not in the Bible. Now, according to your understanding of what grace is, it's not according to what God says what grace is. And we're going to get a few right now. Okay? Because what you are saying, you're given the, you, you are given the understanding of what you think grace is. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. No, salvation is grace. Oh, salvation is not grace. Salvation is actually Christ coming to save you. And the, the saving, what he's coming to save you, is the grace what leads up to the salvation. All right? So right now, you in grace. Right now, you sparing time. God giving you time to get yourself together until Christ come. All right? That's that's. That's what you call grace right there. But the Bible is going to explain exactly what grace is. All right, read. It's the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. 
for the grace of God that bring it, for the grace of God that bring it salvation. So grace bring, hold on. Grace brings salvation. Like I said, grace brings salvation. Right now you want grace time. You're supposed to be going to your bed. You're supposed to be wearing your fringes. All right? You're supposed to be not putting that perm in your hair. That's grace. God giving you a chance to get yourself together. That's why we owe you. We owe you to make sure that you understand what we're saying. Get yourself together, brother. Because guess what? Because if you don't, the people who you who you teaching in your church, guess what? You leading them astray. You all right? Go on and read. I appear to all men. I do what? I appear to all men. So, the grace that appeared to all of these people. It was given to all of them. All of them, all right? They have a chance at salvation, read. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness. Now it's going to get more, it's going to get more understanding. It's going to give you a proper understanding of what, what grace really means. Read it again. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. So we should be denying ungodliness. You understand? You understand that? What is ungodliness? Read. And worldly lust. And worldly lust. Fornication. Adultery. Selling drugs to one another. You see what I'm saying? One money you wanna you wanna take you wanna take that ten percent in your congregation before you take the grace, which the full meaning of grace, the understanding of that, right? And worldly lust. We should live soberly. Say what? We should live soberly. A lot of our people walking around here today, they ain't soberly. They ain't soberly. They drunken off the philosophies of 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 those those doctrines right there. Of baptism, of Mormonism, of Adventist, of Jehovah Witness, of Pentecost. You see what I'm saying? Really? We should live soberly, righteously, and godly. What is righteous? According to what is righteous, sis? Do you know what is righteous? What is righteous? Yeah, God is righteous. Now he wants you to be righteous. Now what is righteousness? Keeping what? You think you're walking righteous right now? You think you're walking righteous right now? No, I want to sin. Hold on, give, give me the righteous first. Give me righteous. All right. So you think you're walking righteous? Oh, but you sis, you think you're walking righteous right now? She says she's honest. Now it's, it's, you could be honest with us too, bro. You know what I'm saying? And righteousness. Let's see what the full meaning of righteousness is. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? It shall be our righteousness. So I'm going to give you the definition. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he commanded us. That's righteousness, bro. Doing God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth